Good afternoon and welcome back to The Longing. And it's day 100. And we are not going to be doing anything particularly exciting today, unfortunately, as we need to be heading through the Halls of Eternity um, for various reasons. So, let's recap what we've done in the last 100 days, shall we? Well, we started the game. We made our way around our little home for the first time. Uh, I don't even remember what we did for the first... For, for the very first thing we did was... It might have been going into our little home, having a bit of a look around there. Ooh, paper. Um, having a bit of a look around um, at home, seeing what was what, what the crack was. We went and we went up to the top of the stairs um, just outside the king's chamber, opened that door. I think that took about a minute, minute and a half or something, maybe two minutes. Didn't take very long, um, but I do know that our first few episodes, maybe our first 20 episodes or so, maybe a little bit more. Someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong, which I probably am. We're all over 20 minutes, um, <clears throat> over 20 minutes long, uh, which in hindsight I should have kept down to about 10, 10 minutes that we've, 10, well, between 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes that we've been doing recently, um, just to make sure that we're not, we weren't progressing too fast. Um, more paper, that's pretty quick. But it's all good, it's all good. We are, after all, um, we've reached what we know we can do, as far as I'm aware. There is still things to do, I just don't know how to do them, if that makes sense. That or they're red herrings, um, and we don't actually have anything to do further, um, but it's in the way it's worded is to try and get us to keep looking in the darkness. Now there must be something we can still do that I haven't looked at or I've missed somewhere. There must be something. Um, so we're going to continue to have a look around for that. Um, that sort of thing. We have explored the, we explored the entirety of the lower area because there was a second door above the map room. We explored the entire area down here as best we could to start with. Um, we found a mattock so that we could do some mining. We found various crystals, moss, um, paper, the halls of eternity. I think we found all of this before we opened that door. Uh, we explored the darkness, the dark caves off to the left. We... I don't remember if we went and talked to the face before we opened the door. But we opened the door and that took, I think, two hours to do. Of which we sped up in one episode, just because I wanted to have the recording of it. We learnt how to close our eyes to make it so that we um, we could close our eyes for some reason. I'm not sure what use that is, to be perfectly honest. But we've done it now. Um, we have done it. We've learnt it. It might come in handy. I don't know what it would come in handy with. Maybe... We close our eyes when we're looking in the map room. Maybe that will reveal something hidden. Who knows? We worked out that the doors that appear on the map room, there's wooden doors that appear when we look at the map room at various points across our little kingdom. Um, and we learned that they are time-based or seem to be time-based because when we went and had a look at 
uh, I think it was when the hour was 23. Minutes were about in the 50s. Seconds, I don't think, matters too much. Um, I think it's the minutes and the hours primarily. Obviously, the seconds will matter because it'll change which minute and hour it is. But um, I think primarily it's hours and minutes. Um, we learned that it was about 2350 on the timer is when we need to go and look for doors, if we're going to go and look for doors. Um, and they, re they require a key of some description. Which we went and eventually there was the treasure hoard behind some crystal, glass crystal -y stuff that we went and attempted to smash or break through because well, let's face it, wanted to get through um, in order to um, see if there was a key, which we couldn't break through in the first place, which I'm happy with. I was intent, I was, I was hoping that I wouldn't need to break through that, but I'd reached a point where I was like, well, I can't think of where else it could be. So we just tried it anyway. We found plenty of books. We found a library. We found paper, which we started drawing pictures on. We found some carpets and curtain and a head, head of a giraffe, I think it was, in this Hall of Eternity. It was either a giraffe or a horse. I think it was a giraffe. Um, I can't remember right now. Um, we found all of the colours, I think. Um, and we started drawing. We've got 223 drawings in total to do, I think. Um, of which we've done about 30, roughly. We have several stores of books that we've got to get through. We've, we've read the entirety of four of the books that have been provided, I think. We've read Thus Spoke Zarathustra, Poems 1, I want to say, Fables 1, The Golden Goose or The Golden Swan or something, and then The Six Swans. Something like that. Um, we do want to be making our way through Moby Dick at some point. That's going to be one heck of a slog, should we say. Um, yeah, it's going to be one heck of a um, read. Because there's over a thousand pages. I think it's 1,209 if memory serves. Um, but we do want to make our way through that one because that one is a supposedly a classic, which I've never read. All I know, and probably all a lot of people know, is um, Call Me Ishmael as the starting, oh, the opening thing. Uh, and the part that there's a weird fact I want to say about Moby Dick, and it's it's what it's a fact. That, well, I, I say fact in, in in inverted commas, uh, a fact that I heard on QI. So, I mean, I trust I trust that they've done their research and such. Um, that's a source that I trust, so I'm going to parrot it. But feel free to do your own research on it. But it's, it's a fact that um, lots of people will say that they've read Moby Dick, even when they haven't. <laughs> Just because it's, it's a classic that so many people think people should have read, that people say that they've read it so they seem smarter or something. But, like, the majority of people haven't actually read it who say that they've read it. They just want to appear smarter or something. 
I don't know how true that necessarily is. As I say, that was me parroting it from another source. But I, I trust that other source enough. That's where I get a lot of my odd little facts from. So do, do with that information as you will. Either way, that is the... Oh no, we found... Um, we found we opened once we'd opened that door we found a friend and a lot of mushrooms and a couple of mines that we could mine one of them was coal one was sulfur and that's right the sulfur mine when you burn the sulfur it makes you just walk away and keep walking ooh now then there's a thought there is a thought. Let me think on that thought. And you'll have to come back tomorrow to find out what my th thought, the thinking that I thought I was thinking, whether the thought was thought worthy or not. Ha -ha. I've just had a plan, a potential plan to enact. But anyway, you'll have to come back tomorrow for that. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night. Um, no matter what time of day it is, have a wonderful one of it. And as always, we'll be back tomorrow with more of The Longing. Goodbye.